Hi everybody, I'm Mike and this is Cold War. Now let's go and do that thing that we do. I mean, it's not completely out of the realm of reality.
AK. That's a sec. Underground key? What the heck is the underground key? Finally, the last okay, one. Oh my goodness. That's the last of them. Sonia, I just got the third bomb. Confirm. Do you want me to take them to decontamination, or do you want me to bring them to the server room? Bring them here. I'm on my way. Sonia, is everything all right? Oh, you're kind of an idiot. Sonia? Ah, Mr. Carter. So good of you to come. And how thoughtful of you to bring my bombs along as well. Really, above and beyond the call of duty. I'm sorry. There was nothing I could do. He threatened to kill me. Silence! You son of a bitch! You will never get away with what you are doing, Varinsky. The president is on his way right now. When he gets here, he will see that you have been using Chernobyl as your own private nuclear weapon factory. <laughs> you fool. I have known for some time of the President's imminent arrival. But I'm afraid I won't be here to greet him. You see, I must depart momentarily to attend to personal business. Business of a rather explosive nature, actually. This place reeks of your handiwork, Borinsky. You've left traces of your little bomb-making operation all over Chernobyl. No way can you cover it up in time. You might get away, but they'll track you down soon enough. Actually, Carter, I am what you Americans might call a neat freak. I have planned a cleanup that is both fast and thorough. Get Timotienko. It is time to launch stage two. Have him push reactors number three and four to their red line, past critical. Yes, comrade colonel. What? This is all very unfortunate, Carter. You see, if you hadn't let your journalistic curiosity get the better of you, and interfered where you had no business, the President might simply have resigned on his own. Now, his illustrious career will be ended unexpectedly, and rather permanently. Before he can even figure out what is happening, the reactors will melt down. Chernobyl will explode, and the President with it. Are you insane? The explosion will destroy the entire area! This region will be contaminated for hundreds of years! Indeed. This will, no doubt, be of great concern to the Western powers. In the wake of such a tragic accident, they will be inclined to support new Soviet leadership. Strong Soviet leadership that can ensure such disasters will not occur in the future. They'll hold you responsible, Borinsky. Me? The security photos from this facility, which will miraculously survive the incident, will clearly show that a U.S. citizen, most likely a CIA operative, was the party responsible. You, Mr. Carter. Did your government send you? Or are you a rogue agent who exceeded his orders? We shall leave it to the historians to decide. But for now, it is likely that relations between the U.S. and the Soviet Union will become a bit strained. Well, look at the time. I believe it is time we were on our way. And I think I shall bring you along, Mr. Carter. When I turn over the culprit in these matters alive, the Politburo will hail me as a hero of the state. Varinsky, you are forgetting that I know everything! True. I'm... True. <laughs> but that hardly matters. 
since you will remain here to witness the meltdown firsthand. It should be quite fascinating from a scientific point of view. Many scientists would die for the opportunity to witness such destruction up close. In fact, so will you. Vasil, take our American friends to... Hmm, not the trunk, not the trunk. Bestow him in the trunk. I think he likes it there. You're mad! Mad? Mad? Was it I who plunged the Soviet Union into chaos by force-feeding the ways of the West to our people? Was it I who destroyed our economy so that our people are starving? Was it I who tore the very fabric of our society so that our once united republics are now at each other's throats? No, I have assumed the burden of the people. Only I can hear the weeping of Mother Russia. And only I have dared to tread the path necessary to help our people and return Russia to greatness. It is a path that I tread willingly, a journey into destiny. And that journey begins here. say over exposed the bastard he ambushed Sonya and made her tell me to bring the bombs into the server room which you should have been able to see from a mile away even behind those terrible terrible shades Berinsky is an absolute madman wanting to blow up Chernobyl just to cover his tracks moreover it will cause a disaster that the West will welcome him with open arms as a strong leader necessary to restore order the bad news is that Berinsky wants to put all the blame on me the good news is that it's the reason he hasn't killed me yet. Looks like I'll see the Kremlin once again. Yes, comrade. I understand. Rig the reactor core for a meltdown. Dimurchenko will explain the procedure. He may not be thrilled with the idea of creating a nuclear accident, however. I shall remind him of his duties, comrade. And one more thing. I had a call from Nubyanka a moment ago. They found that Ruki who was supposed to replace Vasil. But he is here, is he not? No. He was found unconscious in a storeroom at Lubyanka. But that means... Yes, we have a spy on the loose. And I have a feeling it is our old friend Grushkov. I want his head. Oh cool, we get to meet Grushkov. At least we will in the next episode. Um, if you like this episode or you just want to support the series, feel free to go ahead and click on that good old like button. If you uh, haven't subscribed and you feel like that's something that you want to do, that button is down there as well. If you have any positive or negative feedback, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. If you want to join me on Facebook, Twitter, or Steam, you can do that by clicking on one of the links in the description down below and bring you right to where you need to go. But I've been Mike and you've been you, and this has been Cold War. Thanks very much for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye!